Well, here we are on the Vs. You've got volleyball, you've got the vault, you've got Vajra Mushti. And if that's a first for you, it's a form of Indian wrestling. But in this one, uh, they use knuckle dusters. Uh, you've also got Varpa, which is similar to the, sort of the French bull, but the Vikings used to play it with stones. You've also got something called vascularity, which is used when people are doing bodybuilding. And then, of course, you've got the vigorous intensity exercise that people use down the gym. It does exactly what it says on the tin, really. Um, do you know what? I thought U was going to be difficult, but V is even trickier. Now, I could go down the volleyball route, you know, team game, passing the ball to one another, going backwards and forwards. I could also go down the vigorous intensity exercise route because sometimes in recruitment, we do need to be quite vigorous. We need to be thorough, but we also need to be quite intense, particularly if we're delivering against deadlines. And then, of course, there is the link to Vajra Mushti because not everybody plays fair in this game. And sometimes we do feel let down. Sometimes we do feel as if we have just been punched in the face by somebody wearing a knuckle duster. So I want to focus on another V, V for victory. You know, all too often we just celebrate that the placement's putting the deal on the board, ringing the bell, banging the gong, blowing the air horn. But we also have to understand that those big milestones, those big victories are made up of the smaller wins, the smaller victories. And each of those need to be equally recognized. And right from the outset, you've got to understand your value. Not only have you got to understand it, you've got to explain it. You've got to educate the value to the people that you're working with. And then, of course, you need to build it. And then, of course, you need to deliver that value. Clients and candidates are looking for value for money, even though obviously we don't charge the candidates. And change your vessels, change your vessels for communicating, change your vessels for delivery. Some people are using uh, video a lot more now, some probably more effective than others. And then of course, you know, we will have targets, we'll have goals, we'll have objectives. But the biggest one of all that companies try and achieve is the vision, the company vision, that the vision that is aimed to pull people together, provide the glue, to give people a common purpose, something to aim for, a reason to get up out of bed in the morning and come in and get stuck in and do all the hard work. It should be like a laser guided light going through the organization. And there's no reason within your teams why you can't have a vision within a vision. And finally, we're not quite at that stage yet where the world is totally virtual. It isn't virtual. There are still people out there that you need to engage with, real flesh and blood, because there are still people out there that will, if you allow them, value you.